Hi, this is Rachel with Gentle Frog. In today's video of custom QuickBooks training, I want to talk to you about entering and paying bills out of QuickBooks versus expenses. For the purpose of this video, I'm using QuickBooks Online test drive file. This has come up in recent conversation. I've had clients that didn't understand if they should enter a bill and pay the bill, or if instead they should use expenses. And so I thought, you know what, I should just walk you guys through this. So the, the first thing I want you to know is the feature of enter bill and pay bill versus expense, they're both great features. When you say, I want to enter a bill, you're saying, I would like to enter a bill and have QuickBooks let me know what bills are outstanding so that I can pay them later. In the accounting software, you're saying, I would like to enter a bill. When I generate a report, I can say what bills are due. When I look at a profit and loss, also known as an income statement, I can toggle that report to show me not only the money that I've collected, but the money that I anticipate to collect and the bills that I have paid and the bills I anticipate to pay later. If I enter just the expense and I don't choose to enter a bill, when I say, all right, how much do I owe people? QuickBooks doesn't know. I have to look on my desk. And if I say, okay, QuickBooks, show me a report that summarizes the expenses I have paid and the expenses I'm going to pay later. Again, QuickBooks doesn't know because we didn't tell it. So when you choose enter bill, pay bill, you're doing that because for a variety of reasons, you need QuickBooks to tell you about the bills that you've entered that you have not yet paid. So let me show you what it looks like in QuickBooks. Um, we're gonna enter two bills. So the first one is gonna be an expense. To do this, I'm gonna click on the quick create button in the upper left-hand corner. I'm gonna click on the word new. When this pops out, I'm gonna click on the second column and click on vendors. I'm then gonna go down to expense. Now, it's almost lunchtime, which means that we're gonna pay Bob's Burgers, because I'm hungry and I like burgers. The category, we're gonna choose meals. The amount, we're gonna say is $100, because I would like a lot of burgers. Um, this is dated today, which is perfect. I'm gonna say save and close. So what I'm doing is I'm saying right now, I've used my debit card, I went to Bob's Burgers, I spent $100 on burgers. Let me pull up the profit and loss report so you can see this. On the left hand side, I click on reports. When this opens, I click on profit and loss. I'm gonna click away all my pop-ups. I'm just gonna change the date on the top to be today's date and then run report. So when I look at this, I see that I had $100 in meals and entertainment expense. If I were to ask QuickBooks about any upcoming bills I have to Bob's Burgers, QuickBooks wouldn't know because I haven't told QuickBooks about it. Let me show you what that looks like. On the left-hand side, I click on Reports. I can scroll down, but this is where I start to use the Find box. What I want is um, Accounts Payable Aging Summary or Aging Detail. Either of these work. I'm just going to pick summary because I know Bob's Burgers isn't on my list. This is a summary of the bills that I have coming due. So no Bob's Burgers. I want to pretend instead that I didn't enter an expense, but rather I entered a bill and that I'm going to pay that bill. So first thing I want to do is go back and get rid of my expense. So let me just do that. Delete. Okay. So now it's like we've rewinded back in time. I'm gonna pull up the profit and loss for today. I'm just gonna verify that expense for Bob's Burgers is no longer there because I've deleted it and it's not. So I'm gonna run a different scenario. And this other scenario is where I say, okay, I'm gonna enter a bill that I'll pay later. So I'm gonna go upper left-hand corner and click on new. I'm then gonna go under the vendors column to bill. I'm gonna enter my vendor. My vendor is Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers would like me to pay my bill within 10 days. The bill is dated today. It's due in 10 days. It's bill number um, Burger 1. The category, I'm going to choose Meals and Entertainment. I'm going to make this bill for $100. 
Actually, I'm gonna make it for 101, just to be fun. So I'm gonna say save and close in the lower right hand corner. All I've done here is entered a bill. So I have not paid the bill and the money has not left my checking account yet. So I change the date range and you can see my profit and loss report. When I look at this profit and loss report, I see my $101 to Bob's Burgers. The reason I see my $101 is because I have toggled the accounting method from cash to accrual. So accrual means show me the pending invoices, pending money clients going to pay me, and also show me the bills, the bills that I've entered that I need to pay later. When I change this to cash and I say run report, Bob's Burgers goes away because I have not yet paid Bob's Burgers. On the left hand side, if I click on reports and I go back to accounts payable, just do aging summary again, I can see Bob's Burgers is here on my list of bills I need to pay. When I pay Bob's Burgers, I'm going to pay them by going to the upper left hand corner and clicking on new, going to vendors, and coming down and saying pay bills. I'm then going to indicate how am I paying it. Am I going to use the checking account, the savings, the MasterCard, the Visa? If I use the checking, it prompts me to enter a check number. If I just authorized an automatic payment, there wouldn't be a check number and I'd leave that blank. On the left hand side, I'd say I'm paying Bob's Burgers. I'd verify the amount that I'm paying. And then down here, I'd say save and close. And now Bob's Burgers is off my list. Let me go back to the profit and loss, just verify it shows up there. So Bob's Burgers is here, $101 when I look at the accrual report. When I change it to cash, Bob's Burgers is still here. The reason Bob's Burgers now shows up on cash is because I've paid the bill. What I want you to know is that you can shortcut some of this. You can definitely shortcut it by doing stuff within this banking tab. What I do not ever want to see you do is coming up here and clicking new and then choosing expense to pay something you previously entered as a bill. If you do that, you end up messing up your accounting in some pretty goofy ways. If you have any questions about when to use one or the other, how to fix it, how to figure out what was done in the past, any of that stuff, please don't hesitate to let me know. You can leave a comment on this YouTube video. You can also send me an email, rachel at gentlefrog.com or schedule an appointment with me at gentlefrog.com. Thank you so much. And if you have any topics for future videos, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you again. Mm -hmm.